Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple hidden armory. So when I flip down this lever right here, our hidden armory opens up, and we have everything in here we could possibly need. We have our ender chest, we have a storage right here, furnaces to smelt our stuff, a level 30 enchantment table. We also have our anvil right down here. We have our brewing stand, our cauldron to have water for our brewing stand, and then of course, our crafting bench. However, once we are done inside the armory, all we have to do is jump right out, flip down this lever once again, and then our armory is completely hidden. Now, this thing is super simple to build, guys. It is so easy to build. Let's go ahead and look at the redstone, and that is all the redstone for this entire thing. All it is is three repeaters, four sticky pistons, four slime blocks, and some redstone. So when I flip down this lever, it closes, and when I flip up the lever, it opens up. And here's the input that I used over there. All it is is an extra repeater and a piece of redstone. When I flip down the lever, it closes, and when I flip up the lever, it opens up so let's go ahead and start building this thing all right guys for this build you're going to need a four by five spacing and you're also going to have to dig down four now the resources you're going to need for this build are four sticky pistons three redstone repeaters eight redstone dust one lever four slime blocks we're also going to need one immovable object i'm going to be using a furnace and then of course choose your block of choice i'm going to be using smooth sandstone now i will not be giving the resource you need for the entire armory but i will show you how to build the exact one that i built over at the beginning so let's go ahead and start building this thing all right, guys, so once you have gathered up all your resources and have dug down your four, come to the bottom right-hand corner, and we're going to place in two pieces of redstone right here. One, two. Then coming out of this piece of redstone, we're going to place a repeater going this way and set it to three ticks delay. So one tick, two ticks, three ticks. Then come back over here to this redstone and place a piece of redstone going that away. Then we're going to take out our immovable object. I'm going to be using a furnace and place your immovable object coming out of that redstone right there. Then we're going to dig down two more blocks right here, one, two, and place two sticky pistons facing upwards. Then right here, dig down this block and place a repeater going this way on two ticks delay. Next up, take out your slime blocks and right above these sticky pistons, we're going to place in four slime blocks. So one, two, three, four, just like that. Then take out your block of choice. I'm going to be using smooth sandstone as my block of choice so it matches my top area. So I'm going to go ahead and place in four, one, two, three, four, right above my slime blocks. Then right next to your block of choice, we're going to take out our sticky pistons once again and place two sticky pistons here with two blocks of choice right on top of them. Then in front of this three tick delay repeater, take out your blocks and place a block right here and then two more right next to these sticky pistons and place redstone right along all of them. And that is it, guys. You are completely done. So if I place a lever right here off of this block and I flip it down, it closes. And then when I flip it up, it opens up. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the lever input that I use. Now, if you want to use one that is completely hidden, like a redstone torch key or something like that, you can easily find them on YouTube. And you can even find them on my channel as well. But what we're going to do is place a block right here above this redstone. Place a piece of redstone on top of this. Then we're going to come down a block and place a repeater going into this block right here. So now if you want to change it out and not use a lever, all you have to do is set up an input that goes into this repeater and activates everything because it has to go into the bottom redstone and the top redstone at the same time. Next up, what we're going to do is dig down two blocks right here. One, two, place a piece of redstone on top of that block, place a block of choice above it with your lever on top of it. And that is the input that I use. So when I flip it down, it completely closes. And then when I flip it up, it completely opens up. So now last but not least, I'm going to show you how I built the inside of my armory. So we're going to come right down here while it is opened up. And over here in this corner, we're going to place down a crafting bench here. And then in this corner, we're going to place our cauldron here. Now, the reason why you want these two on the outsides is because the slime blocks can attach to them, and we don't want that. You don't want your slime blocks attaching to anything because then it will mess up the inside of your armory. So make sure there's no blocks around your slime blocks whatsoever. Then right over here next to the crafting bench, we're going to take out our chests, place two chests right down here, and then right above them, place two more chests in because chests are immovable objects. The slime blocks will not attach to your chests. Then right over here on this side, we're going to place down two more furnaces down here. Then right above this furnace, we're going to place in our brewing stand. And then above this one, we're going to place in our anvil. Then on top of our brewing stand, we're going to place in our ender chest. And then right on top of our anvil, we're going to place in another regular chest for more storage. Then over here on this side, we're going to place in our enchantment table. Now we want level 30 enchantments for our enchantment table. So go ahead and dig around the entire enchantment table. Just dig around your entire enchantment table like this. And then we're going to dig in one more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to take out our bookshelves and place bookshelves right along this entire area. Like that. There we go. So that should be level 30 enchantment. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a sword real quick just to check it. So once I place my sword inside this enchantment table, it should be level 30. It is not level 30 just yet. So we're going to come over here and just dig out these two blocks and add in two more bookshelves right here. So one, two. Now that should be level 30 enchantment. So we'll place it in. And there you have it. Level 30 enchantments. Next up, what we're going to do is take out our furnaces and place three furnaces right here. One, two, and three. 
three and that should be your entire armory completely done and there you guys have it. that is the entire armory completely done so go ahead and take out your blocks of choice now i'm going to be using smooth sandstone and place four blocks right here one two three four and then place two over here and over here now we have to place slabs above our chest because if you have a full block above your chest the chest will not open up so we have to place a slab above it or you can also use a staircase so you don't have to see a open area like this but as you can see we can now access our chest and we're gonna have to do it on this side as well one two take out our blocks of choice and now fill in the rest of this area and there you guys have it your armory is completely done so when we flip down the lever the armory closes and when we flip up the lever the armory opens up so there you guys have it that is how you build a simple hidden armory if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace